Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Dinesh here and in this video I'll show you how to use the weight attribute in the horizontal manner and in this video I'll also show you how to design a simple login application. So the logic for the login application will write in the next video but the design for the login application will try to create in this video itself using the weight attributes. So first I'll create a new application so I'll go to file new new project Next, I'll give this a name of simple login app. I'll click on next. I'll leave the settings to as it is. Next, I'll select empty activity. I'll click next. And then I'll hit finish. So my application is up and running. And in the previous videos, I showed you guys that how you can use the weight attribute to place a components vertically one below the other so that all the three components can occupy the exact same height. In this video, we'll try to use the weight attribute, but this time we'll try to use it in the horizontal way. So I'll open the new app that we just created. Next, inside the activity main.xml, I'll change the relative layout to linear layout. Next, I'll change the orientation to vertical. After that, I'll delete the hello world tag. Next, what I'll do is I'll drag a horizontal linear layout and after dragging the horizontal linear layout you can see over here inside this main linear layout which is the parent linear layout I have one more linear layout which is the horizontal linear layout okay and inside this layout that you see I, I will be placing the edit text and the button components and in this space below I will keep a text view so so next I'll search for the edit text Okay, I'll take the plain text and I'll try to drop it inside the horizontal linear layer. So guys, as you can see on the right side in the component tree, I have the edit text properly dropped inside the horizontal linear layout. Next, I want to drag a button inside this linear layout horizontal. So I'll search for a button and first I'll just drop it down over here. Okay, so as you can see over here, my button is not inside this horizontal linear layout. So I'll just drag and put it over here. Now, as you can see, both the buttons and the edit text are put properly inside this linear layout. Now, if you want to make sure whether the edit text and the button are inside this linear layout, you can just try closing this up. And if both of them disappears, that means both of them are inside this linear layout horizontal. Or if I click on this linear layout, you can see over here, the edit text and the button are both inside the horizontal linear layer. Next I go to the text tab and inside the text tab you can see over here Android Studio has already done the work for me that is in the edit text tab it has already changed the layout weight equal to 1. After that you can see the button doesn't have any layout weight and since the button is set to wrap content the button will occupy the leftover space. Now I'll change the text of the button to login so I've changed the text of the button to login over here. Okay. The layout weight of the edit text is equal to one over here. Now guys, if you want the button and the edit text to occupy the exact same width inside this horizontal linear layout, then what you can do is inside the layout width of the button, just make the width to zero dp. And after that, we will use the weight attribute that is Android colon layout weight. And I'll set it equal to 1. So now guys, as you can see, the edit text and the button are occupying equal width inside the linear layout horizontal. Now, once I've put the edit text and the button, next I'll go to the design tab and I'll drag and drop the large text component. Okay, I'll place it over here and this time what I'll do is I'll give the weight of 1 to this large text. So the last text will occupy the entire height of the screen and this linear layout horizontal will occupy the leftover height. So I'll go to the text tab and guys if you look very carefully the linear layout starts from here that is the linear layout horizontal starts from this line and it ends at this line over here and the text view tag is outside this linear layout tag. Okay now in the text view first I'll change the width to match parent. 
Next, what I'll do is I'll change Android Polin Gravity so the text view appears in the center. Now, once that is done, I'll change the height to 0 dp and I'll give this a weight of 1. So, as you can see, the text view is occupying the entire height of the screen and whatever is the leftover height is occupied by this linear layout horizontal. Now, this text view basically appears very small. So, I'll increase the text size of this. So, to increase the text size, I'll use an attribute Android colon text size and I'll first set it to 100 dp. So, you can see over here at 100 dp, it is occupying this much height. I hope this much should be fine. Now, the design of this app is looking good. Next, what I'll try to do is the text view is on the top part of the text view layout. So, I'll try to bring the text view in the center. So, to do this, I'll first remove the Android gravity equal to center horizontal because if I keep this to center horizontal, I won't be able to use the center vertical component. So, I'll remove the center horizontal command from here. And instead of center horizontal, I'll just put center. So, guys, as you can see, if I put the Android gravity equal to center, this has now centered the text view text. So if I look my app in the design tab, this is how it looks like. But there is one change that I'll try to make. I'll change the weight of the button so that the edit text can occupy the maximum width. So inside the button, I'll remove the weight and I'll set the width to graph. So guys, the layout of our application is ready. In the next video, we'll write the programming logic for a simple login app. In the meantime, if you like this video, please feel free to hit the like button and I'll catch you in the next video where we'll write the logic for this application.